Hey, this is Josh from Josh Bros, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a quadcopter. Now for this, I used four motors and some propellers that I got online. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. And I also used some styrofoam. Now I'm going to start off by drawing up the shape of the arms for our quadcopter. And these arms or wings, whatever you want to call them, uh, we're going to have the motors mounted onto the ends of them. So I go in ahead and trace out one on a uh, foam board. And uh, once I have that done, I'm going to replicate it and uh, do three more that are exactly the same. Now I'm going to go ahead and take one of the motors and glue it onto one of the arms. And then after that we'll go ahead and do that for the other three arms. Now once we have that done, I'm going to take this foam ball that I got from the dollar store and I'm going to glue each arm to it. Now it's important that you make sure it's perfectly symmetrical, um, everything needs to be on, at the right angles, you don't want uh, the angles to differ between arms or else you're going to have an off-center lift. Now we're going to go ahead and put propellers on. If you look at the propellers, you'll notice some of them spin in different directions. So uh, you end up having two clockwise and two counterclockwise. So the two red ones in our case are clockwise and the two black ones are counterclockwise. And basically the reason why we have them spin in opposite directions is so that the quadcopter doesn't end up twisting. The this opposite directions of those uh, that they spin in cancel out any rotation. Now we're going to go ahead and glue the wires down. So now it's time to go ahead and wire it up. At first I just attach all the positives to the positives and all the negatives to the negatives. But um, I found that didn't really uh, work very well, it didn't give me much control. So um, in the end I changed up the way that it's shown here. And um, each set of two motors has its own two wires. So in the end we can control each separately. And as before the motors are just connected to each other, the sets of two are connected to each other in parallel and the other set of two are connected to another set of wires. Now I'm going to uh, hook it up to a USB cable just as a test power source. <clears throat> and now having each set of motors hooked up to a USB cable we can plug them in and see how it works. And as you can see, we don't have too much control. It kind of goes all over the place. So now, after this, we're going to see if we can fix that up a bit and um, maybe give it a little more control. Okay. So back to the wires again. I'm going to make a little controller. So for this, I grab two potentiometers or variable resistances, and uh, I'm going to attach these to the uh, wires that connect to the motors. Now I'm going to add some switches in here. These are just going to be some on-off switches so we can control on-off and how, how fast they're spinning. And so basically what we want to do is we want to um, hook up the potentiometer in parallel with the, uh, with the power source and in parallel as well with the, the set of motors that it's going to control. And then we're just going to have a switch in series with those, just so the switch can uh, turn it on and off. After soldering these connections to make them permanent, we can now go ahead and attach the batteries to our remote. Once the batteries are attached, we'll just glue them to the bottom side of our remote. 
and then after that we can go ahead and test. As you can see we can turn on the switch to let one set of motors go on and then we can use the variable resistor to slow the speed of these motors down a little bit. Now let's go ahead and test it out. As you can see the stability still isn't great so we decided to uh, just make a little guide for the quadcopter and as you can see it can easily fly it's just the stability that it lacks. So my plan is to go ahead and do another version of this, maybe control each motor separately or have some electronic control system so that I can control this a little better. So stick around for the next few videos where I'll work, be working on a control system for this quadcopter here so that hopefully we can get a little more of a controlled flight. Thanks for watching.